My name is Florence and I'm making that fish that black and orange fish. Okay. You can see it? Okay. So firstly to keep safe, we hold on to the handle. Don't hold on to these iron bits. That's the bit that we cut with. So line it up, then pull with the handles. My nanny calls them wood bits. But now I'm going to make a cube, a cube for one. I'm not going around because I can't quite see it. My nanny just needs. And that's how you keep safe making these squares. So, you need to pull it up so that it doesn't get dry and then wrap it like that. You just smack it down so it makes it into a key. This is the next step. We're going to be making the tail and the body. Then we can decorate it. So, we take a big piece like this, they've just made, we twist, this is quite small, so you need six of these, so five and then a tail. So these are ones I made earlier, and we <laughs> did but I'm having fun. <laughs> Here's another one. Right, so use this. So, here's how you make one perfect ball. So, this is the head, this is the body, and this is the tail. I'm starting off with the tail because that's the hardest. And we want to get the hardest done so we can do the quickest next. Otherwise, we'll do the quickest then I have to take a very long time doing it. So, we've got our flat shape. And now I'm going to shape it to look like a tail. But first, I'm going to make the hole so I don't cut off any important bits. So, we're putting the hole. Because that's where the string's going to be. Because you see in the picture, there's some string. It won't just be floating. There's bits on it that I don't really want. Okay. Now I'm going to do the head. I want to do the head, please. The head is literally like the same. But you push your finger in. And it kind of looks like a heart. But now we get into serious business. <laughs> it looks like a head! But now, I'm, it doesn't quite look like a head on the outside, does it? So, I'm going to smooth it. So just rub your finger around it to get all the lumps and all the plain bits away. Now there we go. A perfect fish head. I outlined the eyes. Gotta find them. There's the outline of the eyes and I just cut out the mouth. I'm going to show you one more time and then I'm going to show you an example for you weeks later, I think. So, we put in our thumb. I'm going to do it this side because this side already has a little hole in it. So, we put in our thumb. Then we go pinch, 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 pinch all the way around. Oh, 
like this. Boys and girls. This tool is used for cutting holes up. That's how we got our little fish hole. So we're going to use it to cut out the holes for the string to put in. So we're going to hold it safely so we don't cut ourselves. And we're going to push, wiggle, and pull out. And smack them out. Push all the way through, wiggle, and come out. Ah! Not good enough pen. Yeah, that does it. Give it a little wiggle. Right, that will have to do. Now do the rest of them. Okay. First one. Another one. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And clap. This is going to take me too long. We're so going to zoom through it and then we're going to be done. So, no other side. Okay. Don't do it too, so hard. And then we're going to put a little bubble in one when we want to do this. And then we're going to do a little bit like this. If you can just do some, like as big as you want, as long as it will fit. If you want to make a drag, if you want to see us make a drag painting, okay. I want to see a comment down there. Okay. I don't think that. So you can make it as big as you want, as long as it will fit. Fit. That's the finished track round. Come back to see our next video. And we will accept. Well, before we quit this video, these are all you little things you will need to make it with. It's just for a moment. You'll need some cutters. You'll need this. If you don't have this at home, you can use some of these or a pencil. Anything that can cut through some clay. You need some clay, of course. This, you need to cut out the things. I don't know. You take, can cut take out the tail. And, and we're going outside. Now, when it's done, it's going to look like this. Okay? So, you might kids be wondering, what will it look like for us? Well, we're going to show you. My nanny made this. I don't know who made this. Did I make it? So, we're going to take hold of the tail because there's no wind and we want to hear the sound, don't we? We want to wiggle it just a little bit so we don't break it. Well, comment down below if you want to see us make a jack-o-lantern next. Bye!